What an amazing head to head this has been. In so many ways, it has defined World Series Sevens. 83 times Fiji and New Zealand have met in World Series play. 43 times New Zealand has won. 40 times Fiji has won. It is the ultimate contest and the ultimate challenge for both sides. And a man who knows all about it sits next to me in commentary for the semi-final, Carlton Anna, welcome. Thank you very much, Scotty. And it seems like a home game there. Fijian flags flying everywhere at Allianz Stadium. And the key to them is the offloads. They love giving the offloads away. They don't like taking it into the physical contact. They don't like taking it to deck for New Zealand. Well, they've got a coach to Gordon Titchen has given a huge vote of confidence for Sonny Bill Williams. The first time he will meet Fiji in the seventh game. Referee Rasta Rasavinga of South Africa. Sonny Bill Williams starts in jersey number three. The first time he has faced the might of the Fijians. It's two plays three on the series. Fiji currently five points ahead. Kick off in the first semi-final of the Sydney Sevens and it's Williams who takes the ball and fends one away. Back into the hands of Augustine Pulu, his provincial teammate. They have become very close in this team. Now the captain, Mickelson, has to turn, looks, has a crack himself to Mickelson, trying to find the edge, a cut play for Rico Ioane. Ben Lamb goes straight over the top. Baker trying to get his hands on the ball, the counter ruck is good, that's impressive from Fiji. Jerry Tuwai was there. Trying to get his hands on the ball and the referee intervenes. Well, they're so adept at ruck time, uh, New Zealand. Ben Lamb doing extremely well. Tim Mickelson forward, gets yeah. caught looking up. Ruwafe comes through. And so does Kuntania Bale as well. But a prime attacking opportunity here for New Zealand. A nice run by Tim Mickelson, the captain. This stadium is absolutely going nuts. There are literally thousands of Fijian fans here this weekend. Augustine Pullen. Feeds the scrum. It's Williams this side. Takes the ball away. And some coverage from Tuwai. Good tackle too made on Rico Yuani, but he bounced back. Ravovo, the man trying to put him down. Now Pulu takes a short side dab. Lamb wrapped up in the tackle by Kunitani. And again, Fiji forcing the error, but coming up with their own mistake. And a word. Just a quiet word. Yeah, the Wasta starting to lose his head already. Just getting a bit too physical. See there, well, I've seen worse punish to be fair. Needs to play smart. He's a good player, young player. And this is what New Zealand want to do. They want to bring this type of game against the Fijians, they want to get in their head. What's he trying to? He's pulled out a rib tickler. Find. Break up, time off, please. Time off. Rasta Rasadinga wants a word. Loose head goes underneath. Tart head. Hang on, Sonny. Tart head goes over, please. He's trying to sort out the bind. It's Sonny Bill Williams on the imposing figure of Pio Tuwai. Everything has gone up a notch in Olympic year. There is tension in every match on finals day. Polu waiting to feed. Look at Tuai working on Sonny Bill Williams. And New Zealand win the penalty. Taken quickly by Baker. Here's Lamb trying to get an angle. Ben Lamb for the line. Lamb is over. First try of the semi final goes to the Big Blue. Just the raw power of Ben Lamb coming to the fore. We just saw moments earlier making a nice break on this occasion. You know it's going to be an isolation play from that scrum. He comes in from the wing into centre. Pio Tuai just angles in. You can't do that. They've got three players in and around the ball. So Tim Mickelson picks it up quickly. One on one. Ben Lamb, this close to the line. Unstoppable. Taking on one of the smallest in the team, Oscar Kulinisau, the captain of Fiji. 
And Ben Lamb's try converted by Kurt Baker. New Zealand jump out to a 7-0 lead. Ten tackles Fiji have made so far in this game. New Zealand none. It has all been about New Zealand and possession. Well, halfway already through this first seven minutes. It is flowing by to showing the quality of this game. Baker's kick. Reclaimed by New Zealand, but knocked into the hands of Gutenibo. Now Fiji have a chance to show us what they've got. Cut back with Skunatani. Now to Ravovo. And Ravovo's pass is good. Kulini Sal cleaned up just over the halfway line. Williams trying to get the ball off Ravovo, but not rolling away. Too wide. Just drops the ball. Now he taps it. He'll look for the offload in contact. PO too wide. He's really sought out Sonny Bill Williams for a fight. That one's gone back off a New Zealand hand. No. Referee says it's been knocked on. But the setup work of PO too wide. Such a danger for a big man. He's got silky skills. The big two units going at it right there. Look at that. Sonny Bill Williams. PO too wide. Easy. That's unlucky for the Fiji. And I thought he might have been knocked down as well. But. Referee Rasta Rasta Vingate right there. Good defence though from New Zealand. One on one, Sonny Bell. Okay, turn back on. I wonder sometimes if okay, Fiji, cut. as they were in the semi final in Wellington, have been sucked into a contact game here. Is that the way they should be approaching them? Oh, most definitely not. They want to get the offloads going. They don't want to get in the middle of the park. Get it to your threats, the threats on the air. But New Zealand defensively have placed them on that. Ioane trying to step, but he's on his own out there. Baker. Doubles round, and Baker has no friends on that side of the park. Quick throw from Fiji. Jerry too wide. Looking to set something up through Pio. And he's held up off the ground. Akira Ioani takes the ball away. Thank you very much, says Akira. Up over the halfway line he goes, and that's forward. Advantage now Fiji, and the penalty. Leave it, leave it. Accidental in the air, yeah. This game. Galini found Ravovo and Sonny Bill Williams squashed him. Release, please. Didn't no, clear it, the tackle. It, it, He's in a headlock. How can he get out of there? What well, is the tackle over the top from Sonny Bill Williams? Nothing wrong with that. Here too wide. Finds Colini Sal. Fiji looking to spread. Cut was on from Kunitani. Takes on two. Gets his offload working. That's more like the Fiji we love. Colini Sal finds Ravovo. Now there's some space. Pio too wide. Offloads. It's a beautiful inside ball. And Kurt Baker sweeping makes the tackle. Too wide. Kalini Sal, Tani Bolt. Back to Kunitani, who takes his time. No rush here for Fiji. Ravovo, back to Tuwai as they try to set up a mismatch. There's the halftime siren, and Kalini Sal gets through half a gap. Kunitani with the kick. Two out wide for Fiji. Ravovo finds Rawatha. Ben Lamb makes a legitimate turnover and will have an advantage. Let's go. Let, no, no, leave it, leave it. No, Bro, what the? What is the second occasion he's done this? He wants to have a crack at anyone. Rasta, Rasta, Vingate has to take control of this game. Well, he's taken control of half time and we'll head into the break with New Zealand leading seven points to nil. Fijians are in the face of Sonny Bill Williams. Here's Rawatha. Put Sonny Bill Williams down. It's a legitimate hit. Both. 
There's an intimidation factor to this game that is not always obvious, but on this occasion, it's right there. <laughs> and don't you love it? The edge, the sting, the hit. It's everything you'd expect it to be between these two teams. And I think it's going to go up another level come the second half as well. Energy sapping stuff. Ben Ryan in the huddle, the Fijian coach, former England coach of course, his team trailing by seven. Now just to illustrate the rivalry between these two teams, our friend Keith Quinn saying 99-2000 in those two series, Fiji and New Zealand contested 11 of the 14 finals. Okay. Yeah, I was involved in all 14 of them, <laughs> Scotty, and I can tell you they hurt every single one. It was physical, it was hard, and that's all you can ask for between these two rivals. You'd expect nothing less. The thing though, South Africa laid the blueprint last week about unlocking this defence and this ability of the Fijians, you've got to be in their face, you've got to play physical, you've got to make them play short, because that's what they're doing, they're getting into the mind of the Fijians, and they're just wanting to, well, taking their mind off the game, the way they play, they're trying to outport New Zealand, that's never going to happen. Bon Jovi in a game of sevens between New Zealand and Fiji, what a time to be alive. What? Black. The second half is about to commence. Kurt Baker with the kick. And this one hasn't gone the 10. New Zealand may find they want to play it that. They don't, and Fiji help themselves. Here is a big chance for the Fijians. Kuratani kicked it ahead, so any advantage comes to a close, and New Zealand can regroup inside the 22. Mikusa on the cut. Akira Yuani. Now there's space for Akira Yuani. Dummy inside Akira. Look at the big man go! Stop it! We've been waiting for him to explode, Akira Ioane. And he steps up on the big occasion, Tim Mickelson and Akira with a nice late cut, cut. A big man with beautiful feet. Decoys when he comes to the sweep of Revolvo. Revolvo comes back, but son, you got to go lower than that. One of the tries of the day, Akira Yuani showing everything he's got, the power, the fend, the ability to accelerate into space. That is some try. Now with Fiji behind on the scoreboard, Scotty, a lot of the times they tend to go individual on it. They have to keep their structure. They have to play the width. And I'm sure that guy will be introduced again. Time off, please. Five substitutions per team. New Zealand down a man, Joe Webber. Not an action, injured yesterday. Five substitutions per team. Players can be subbed more than once. Baker. Inside the 22, it's deep. And it's drifting. And it doesn't quite reach the goal line. Fiji now. Pressed in their own corner. Mickelson up to make the tackle on Ravulvo. And Revolvo losing control. Backwards, says referee Rasavenge. Fiji trying to find a way through, and that's how it's done. Colony Sal. Beautiful offload in the tackle. Fiji on fire out of their own 22. And it's one offload too many. Lamb to Baker. Now Mickelson. He'll be taken down. Good funny ball. Got to be on your feet. Penalised Tim Mickelson. Here they come. Colin Isel in field from him. Just setting up again. Mata. Adi Savia and Tim Mickelson put him down. Ravovo. He is all time. 
Now Jerry Tuwai. All floats beautifully, Jerry Tuwai. Vedemulua taking on the line himself. One pass will do it. Yes, Fiji. Asagi Kofanibol gets an answer back. Well, the offloads coming to the fore. This is what their game plan is based around. Ball into space, taken into contact, rolling his offloads. It all started with Jerry too. I look at that distribution from the little man. Couple of missed tackles. Decoy on the inside and they had numbers on the outside. And Isake Kartone Bao finally gets over for Fiji. And they are so good when they can create space for the support player. And offload in the contact. Here's Ravovo, no good. 14-5. And that lady understands just what that could mean. In a tight game like this, every point counts. Now it's a two-score minimum for Fiji. This game is flowing by. Ravovo with the restart. Coming forward was Ben Lamb. It's gone loose again. Mickelson. Hunting puts the kick ahead to Nicholson. No, we will come back. Yeah, the ball's gone out. Nice bit of skill there by Tim Mickelson. A missed opportunity. What's that for? Titcher saying the touch has got his flag up. Yes, great. Push in the back from Tim Mickelson. That's what it's for. Okay. Pushed by two black, and I'm going to go... Well, two of the best on show right there, Crazy Bear talking to Rasta, Rasta Vengate. Time back on. No card, just the penalty. Tim Mickelson survives. He was Sinbin last game up. Mothunathagi into the game. And the kick ahead straight through. Another big chance for Fiji. Slips out of the tackle of Baker. How good. How good is he? Now Sila Sila gets to ground. Motenitagi. Now Mata. He steps off the right. Pass Collier. There's the support play. Ravovo with the fend. Fiji get their second. It's a thriller. Oh, and the riding, the wave of the energy of this crowd, Fiji. Couple of missed tackles from New Zealand. But going back to what's been so successful for them over the last couple of seasons, a fend in the face by Ravovo on Dylan Collier. And now we have a game, Scotty Stevenson. Competition's most prodigious point scorer is scoring when it counts. Into the final 90 seconds of the semi-final. Rico Ioani. Back now! Chopped down by Mata. There to pick it up was Collier, the captain, Tim Nicholson. What can he concoct from the back? Fiji will fight. There is no doubt they'll fight. And they win the penalty. Mata with the tap and go. Now Sila Sila, he's at it. Ravovo calls the cut. And Rawatha heaves it across field. Regan Weir now on a one-on-one. -on -one. With Colony South, his pass is loose, picked up by Mothenitagi. Right now! 30 seconds remaining. Fijians on fire. Rawatha, looked after by Mickelson, who goes hunting for the ball and gets it. Tim Mickelson wins the penalty, strength and contact. Tim Mickelson is a soldier. Come, come, let's go. He let's is go, just please. ground now. and ground and ground himself into the ground. Let's go, thank you. He has been outstanding, Timmy. They just have to count down the clock. Kurt Baker kicks it into touch. The siren sounds and Rasta Rasavenga says go. Kurt Baker with a double thumbs up. And it's fair to say that that's not the most popular victory in Sydney today. New Zealand through to a second cup final in as many weeks. 14-12 over Fiji.